In this video, I want to look at exporting the data out of Formant and taking it into 3ds Max as an FBX file. So what we have here is the Formant model on the screen, and I'm just going to turn off the back faces. That's why the windows are looking red there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my drop down here and hit the export button, and I'm going to export locally. And I want to use the FBX file format. And this is one that's used for games and movies. It holds the geometry and the texture mapping. And uh, with some applications, it holds lighting and cameras, etc. So I'm not going to use any of the generate back faces or ASC2 settings. If you do want to look at that, there's a little uh, question mark here to explain what that means. We're just going to use the FBX. If I just go down and use the latest one, we can then export. Uh, what I want to do also here is uh, either do all objects or visible only. So there's a couple of controls that you can use. We'll just do all, all objects and I can uh, tidy this up in 3ds Max. So this is my 3ds Max folder here. And I'll just call this uh, Max Import. And correctly spell it right. And here we go. So that's the export. And this is uh, 3ds Max, just using the standard uh, startup screen here. So if anybody's new to Max, this is the main ribbon interface up the top and over here on the right is a lot of your creation and modify tools. We'll come back to that a bit later. Over here on the left is kind of like your layers. Uh, this is where you can start to see all the geometry coming in and then set up in a uh, sort of a tree hierarchy menu here. So over here we're going to import and just go to that uh, recent location so uh, go up one and it was the import go open and a little thing to note here uh, when you bring it in you can choose automatic uh, my preference is, is to bring it in in centimeters uh, the rest of them you don't need, you need to worry about and we'll just go okay and now we have our Format model in 3ds Max to um, all that you can hold down your Alt key and your middle mouse button, and we have some other uh, orbiting tools down here as as well. So uh, that's simply how you bring it in. You can see this model here has held the textures. This one hasn't done it quite right, so you can uh, make some adjustments, and I will show that when we get to the uh, materials section of this tutorial.